Hey everyone, it's Reacher with Mind's Eye Design. From simple to advanced, here is our list of 10 awesome electric vehicles not created by Elon Musk. Number 10. What started in the late 1800s with streetcars has culminated in today's eco-friendly mindset. One only has to look around to see that the electric revolution is at hand. Zykel is another addition to the electric bike market catering to the urban commuter. This pedelec works for all sizes with its adjustable seat and handlebars. The 40-pound weight and folding aluminum frame allow for easy storage and transport. It comes equipped with a 250-watt motor that can produce a top speed of 20 miles per hour. The swappable battery offers a 20 to 40 mile range which can be increased up to 50 miles using pedal assist. The addition of the manufacturer's smartphone app allows you to choose from three different speed modes while monitoring your battery usage. You can also control the scooter's lighting, run diagnostics, and track your rides. Current pricing starts at $999. Number 9. The latest crossover from Chinese company NEO is called the ES8. This seven-seater has an all-aluminum body on an aluminum alloy chassis. Two motors, one in front and one in back, deliver 480 kilowatts of power and 620 pound-feet of torque to all four wheels. A liquid-cooled battery pack can give over 310 miles of range even while running at a constant speed of 37 miles per hour. Power stations can swap a battery in under three minutes, while its mobile power vans offer the option of a 10-minute charge to give the vehicle an extra 62 miles of range. The in-car AI system can listen and talk in addition to offering assistance. There's also a mobile app that monitors the vehicle diagnostically to alert the driver of power station availability and any needed services. The ES8 is currently only available in China with a base price of $70,600. Number 8. Bikes are fun. Sure, we've all wiped out and it hurt, but we were having fun when we did it. And we got back on because of it. Inky Cycles believes in the fun part and their design conveys that ethos. They call it Billy, and if a BMX racer and an e-bike had a baby, this is what it would look like. The aluminum frame sits on two 20-inch fat tires, which allow for better climbing and faster acceleration than the standard 26-inch wheels on most fat bikes. Five levels of power control can get you up to 20 miles per hour from the 500 watt motor and belt driven pedal assist. You can get a range of 41 miles on a full charge. The lockable battery is hidden in the frame of the bike and can be removed for charging if needed. An LCD between the ultra wide handlebars keeps track of your speed, battery life and trip info. The Billy is limited to an initial production run of only 500 units for the USA only you can snag one for $2,490. Number 7. Neuro raised $92 million in a startup campaign to create this unique and completely autonomous vehicle. Their goal? Commercial deliveries. The R1 was never designed for a human passenger. It's as long as a smart car, but only half as wide and high as a sedan. It has two cargo spaces on the side that can fit everything from groceries to dry cleaning and then some. And there's a pin pad to make sure that only the right person has access to the contents. The fully electric vehicle navigates using the usual self-driving array of cameras, radar, LIDAR, and other sensors located around the vehicle. The focus was always on local delivery within a neighborhood or city due to three things. Access to a lot of people, a sustainable business model, and a three to five year time frame for execution. They developed their own self-driving system, and in a year, the R1 was born. If I may, I'd like to suggest a cold compartment for beer and a hot compartment for pizza, because priorities, people. Priorities. Number six. Every time I talk about one of these electric off-road motorcycles, I love them more and more. For those of you listening, if you own one, I am officially jealous, so feel free to brag about it in the comment section. The Kalk by Cake has a minimalist style usually seen on urban commuter e-bikes, but don't let that fool you, it still kicks ass. 24-inch tires support the aluminum frame and carbon fiber body. Housed under the seat are a 15-kilowatt motor and a 51.8-volt, 50-amp-hour battery. 
Combined, they give you a range of up to 50 miles with a top speed of 50 miles per hour depending on which of the three riding modes you choose from. The slimline design weighs in at around 150 pounds, which is about 100 pounds lighter than a typical off-road motorcycle. The first 50 units will be a limited edition starting at $14,000 with a full production run later in 2018. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon to stay up to date on all the latest videos from Mind's Eye Design. Number 5. What do you get when one of the world's revolutionary luxury tender designers pairs up with one of the world's leading manufacturers of marine electric motors? You get the Avon E-Jet powered by Torquedo. Its development was geared towards solving the problems yacht owners face when having a tender on board, such as fuel storage, oil changes, and other maintenance. The hull is formed from carbon fiber with the inflatable body made from hypalon fabric. The power comes from an 80-horsepower electric motor and a 32-kilowatt-hour battery. A full charge should get you about 90 minutes of normal use with a maximum speed of 26 knots. A connected boat device lets you track your tender's position, adjust lighting, and save routes directly from your mobile device. Users can also diagnose any problems and update software directly from the internet. The E-Jet is scheduled for production sometime in 2019, but as of yet, no pricing is available. Number 4. Spanish manufacturer Tarot reached way back in time for this idea and updated it to be a part of the next generation of electric vehicles that are revolutionizing urban mobility. It's called the Velocipedo. The steel frame and carbon fiber body looks like a smart car that was cut in half. Its two seats, one behind the other, are intended for transporting smaller cargo or one person within cities where a normal sized car might not be as efficient. The 13.5 horsepower motor produces a little over 100 pound-feet of torque to give a top speed of 55 miles per hour. The five removable batteries will give a range of just over 90 miles before needing a recharge. Regenerative braking can increase this range up to 20% depending on which of the four driving modes are being used. The company is currently taking reservations for a limited 70th anniversary edition starting at $7,400. Number 3. The idea of an electric diesel seemed nothing more than a concept just a few years ago. But that was then. Fast forward to now. LA-based startup Thor Trucks is one of a handful of companies currently building electric cargo haulers. Their entry into that market is called the ET-1. They don't actually manufacture electric vehicles. Instead, they take existing truck platforms and retrofit them with electric drivetrains and battery packs to create a zero emission semi-truck intended for short haul and regional fleets. The powertrains will put out anywhere from 300 to 700 horsepower depending on the owner's needs. The ET-1 will be available in two versions, a $150,000 option with a 100 mile range or a $250,000 option with a 300 mile range. Both have an estimated hauling capacity of 80,000 pounds. The company is currently offering fleet demos and set to begin production in 2019. Number 2. Fisker teamed up with China's Hakim Unique Group to design and produce this little vehicle called the Orbit. This all-electric interconnected autonomous shuttle is intended for smart cities, campuses, airports, and other geofenced routes. There aren't many details available other than the inclusion of a digital display that tells commuters the next departure time and destination. The company plans a production date of fall 2018. Do you agree with our picks so far? We welcome all suggestions, so be sure and let us know in the comments what you thought. Number 1. If you love off-roading and mudding but want to be eco-friendly, then Nikola Power Sports is your new best friend. They've released an electric UTV that puts out more torque than a tank, as in M1 Abrams. You might have heard of it under its concept name of the Nikola Zero. This was changed to the Nikola NZT for production. 
At first glance, the NZT resembles any other UTV or side-by-side, -side, but upon further inspection, you realize you're not seeing the huge engine that's usually protruding from the rear end. The chassis and roll cage are constructed from military-grade steel to withstand the most rigorous conditions without compromising safety or performance. Due to the lack of a normal engine and the placement of the batteries in the bottom of the frame, the center of gravity is lowered, allowing more control, faster cornering, and less rollovers. The 33-inch tires and 14.5-inch ground clearance means that you don't have to worry about tearing up the drivetrain. There are motors and gears at each wheel that can produce up to 590 horsepower and 722 pound-feet of torque. The batteries can give a range from 90 to 150 miles depending on the size and output. All of this power is monitored by an onboard computer which aids in braking, traction control, and power steering to help minimize the odds of the user doing anything stupid. I think that speaks for every one of us. The pricing starts at $28,900 with options ranging up to $61,900. I suppose it's worth it if you really want to play tug of war with a tank. Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.